Hey y'all, it is me, Stop Drop and Roll On, and it is almost 2 o'clock, and it's 2 o'clock on Sundays. Don't ask me why, don't ask me when it got started, I really don't know, but for some reason I feel as though I have to take a nap. Now, here comes something sneaking up on me. Ink, what is it? What is it? Huh? What do you want? Uh-huh. See, that's what I'm talking about. Sit down and let's not start. Let's not, let's not. Anyway, let me go on and make my video because this can go on for quite some time. She going to keep on butting me until whatever. Y'all already know the story. Anyway. Yeah, it's some people behind that. And they looking at you do your stuff. You ought to be embarrassed. Sit down. Sit down. Don't, don't go up there. Sit down. Sit down. Thank you, good girl. So anyway, let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not. I know you're in love. Anyway, y'all, I know I have been missing in action. Hopefully I can use the bun strategically to block out that UFO that's trying to land here in the bedroom. That's what it looked like. But um, I took a break, and I really hadn't planned on taking a break. It just kind of happened. It was like one of those... How, what's the word they always, oh, it happened organically. <laughs> but anyway, I just took a break. And um, I had gotten, it was just so much stuff going on that um, something had to give, okay? And you know, it's just like everything else. Um, the essential stuff had to keep going because that's just the way it is. But then the things that, or you, you have to prioritize. And so um, I just took a break. And I would look at some videos from time to time and answer and stuff. But I really had to take a break. And I'm not on um, other social media. So it wasn't like I had to address, you know, all these other platforms and stuff. So that in and of itself was a blessing. So um, what have I been doing? Number one thing that I have been doing is I have been doing a lot of work. But apart from work, which y'all know I'm not going to really even talk about or anything. I just mentioned it because that's what was becoming all-consuming and actually taking up a bunch of time. Um, I've been going to my Wednesday night uh, Bible studies with my um, church group and been enjoying that. It is actually something that I look forward to, you know. And... um we're going to be taking a little break after next week because that's just the way, it, you know, it's kind of set up. Um, and then we rejoin. It's kind of like it's a time frame for when the kids go to camp and stuff like that and um, for spring and all that. So that'll I have a little break from that. I'm still taking my knitting classes. I have finished my first sock. Hopefully I'll be able to... Um, put a picture up because I tried this sock on and when y'all see it y'all might see like my toe sticking out the end and four needles coming out I tried this sock on before um I finished it and um I'm finished with it now and I'm working on the second one I'm not a pro yet but I do have um improved confidence and I'm really glad because now I can look at patterns and you know like knitting patterns and I was like oh I think I could do that uh oh that might be too hard but I'm willing to try and so that has been really um one a highlight and uh when I finished the site you know in my own little private corner in my own little world I um I just kind of started crying a little bit and it wasn't, it, it was mixed because I was happy that I finished it and that I did it. But, um, my girl, you know, wasn't here for me to talk to about because that was something we were supposed to be doing together. So I am learning and I have learned and I am continuing to learn that I have to press on, you know, I have to keep going and, um, it's, it's all right it's it's just all right i have had a whole lot of um emotion on a personal level that i have just not shared with a lot of people because it was just kind of strange how 
I did have some people that were just like, well, you just can't keep acting like this. Or, you know, and I wasn't really acting any way. It was just that I wasn't acting like myself is what it was. I mean, and then it turned into people, some people just treated me like I had the plague. And it was just like, woo, we don't know what to say to her. We don't know what to do. Well, okay, that's fine and good, but I don't understand that. And so now where I'm at is Different people handle things different ways. Some people don't handle things well at all. They don't know what to say. They don't know when to say it. They don't know how to say it. And I have just learned that just cutting people slack. In 2017, I my goal anyway has been just to let people, especially people that know better. And when I say know better, if you have told me and shared with me that you're a Christian, you know God, you believe in Jesus Christ, and um, you know that the Holy Spirit lives within you, and you doing things that don't go along with those with with that knowledge, I am going to say something, but I'm not gonna keep on saying it. That's the thing that I, um, my thing is, I need to put the band aid where the band aid needs to be at. And you need to put the ointment where the ointment needs to be at. If it's an open sore or something like that or a scab, excuse me for being graphic, I'm going to the open sore first because the scab is already in the process of healing itself. That's what the scab means. The wound is healing is what I should have said. And so I'm not going to, I don't have a tolerance for the repicking of a wound. Not within myself, and I'm being hard like this because this is how I am with myself. And I, um, that's just what I decided I was going to do this year. And there is biblical, you know, recourse for that. That we don't, we, we don't have to keep on playing reindeer games, uh, when people don't want to move forward or they don't want to, or they want to do things that they want to do, and then they want you to come do Rescue Ranger. I have done that a lot. And I just don't have the tolerance for it at this point. And I don't think that at first, you know, the enemy started, you just being mean. You just being evil. It's not mean and evil because sometimes when you keep handing and handing, people never really realize that their hands do work and that their minds do work and that they're able to problem solve and do things for themselves because that's human nature. And my uh, one of the, the second pod um, made this comment. She said my name and she said people are always looking for a loophole and when she said that I was like girl get somewhere and sit down and then I have been quoting that child more and more on that particular thing not a lot of stuff she said cause some stuff she says still is <sighs> so I got that and then my sister's was my sister was a um Grant, her and her husband were grandparents raising grandchildren. These were her biological grandchildren, um, not not his, but they were married. And um, so some of the things that she would be doing at this point is preparing for a graduation because her granddaughter is graduating from high school. So usually when you have grandparents taking care of grandchildren there's a reason for that i don't need to go into all of that you just do the math if you don't know how to do the math just know that just know and so anyway we so we are in the process and i might i'm gonna share it with y'all it's just not in here with me um she's gonna be having a graduation party and so or i should say gathering because party is a different kind of word and um yeah mm -mm. But um, a gathering, and so I've been working on stuff, for, well, gathering stuff for tablescapes, for tablescape. And we have three people graduating this year. We have two girls and one boy. And so um, this gathering is going to be for all the graduates, but each one of them is going to have their different, you know, like individual table and stuff for their gifts and their little personalities and stuff. So I've been gathering stuff for her table. And um, and this is stuff, like I said, that my sister would be doing. But somebody got to do it, so it's me and Scranton. And I'm working long distance, so I'm having to do this and do that. And then send stuff, well, do this look all right? And all this kind of stuff. And some stuff I'm not asking, do it look all right? Because that girl's taste is eclectic, and it can be off the... Mm -mm. 
I don't even know how to say this. Y'all just hear me when I say it. All of Sissy's grandchildren have um, intellects that are something. This one here that's graduating speaks Mandarin, Chinese, and Spanish. And she's fluent in both of them. And she's an art person just innately they are all artsy they can draw really really well and um they do things you know the little young one she's a chess player but we not sat down and taught her how to play chess she just knows how to play chess to the point where she can beat people so they do things and they just just different different little kids you know they not they growing up and one is working on getting um his driver's license and it's just kind of something to see them getting big and stuff because i remember when they were born but i also remember when their parents was born so it's just kind of different so we are working on look this dress right here this is in a lane bryant thing and we have me and Scranton, because I told you, I gave you all that pre prelog or whatever you wanted, prelude up to let you know that um, we can't leave it up to her to pick out what she will be um, graduating in because these kids are real laid back when it comes to graduation. And me and Scranton are from old school. I believe in dressing up for graduation because to us, graduating from high school is a big deal. And graduating from college is also a big deal. It is an expectation, to be totally honest. And um, the parents are kind of lack. So we have to kind of rev up the motor and keep it revved up and throw some gas on the fire. And, um, yeah, from time to time. But this dress is the dress that we kind of think that would be nice for graduation. But we are not paying $80 for this. Uh, we're going to um, get this dress made is what we're going to do. I haven't seen that pattern. It's just a simple princess waist dress, and it won't be difficult to, to pull together. And Scranton can pull it together faster than I can because she can sew. So that she can sew better than I can, I should say. So we have a lot of stuff going on, and I've been working. I don't know if I said that, but, yeah, I've been working. And um, I think I mentioned I've been going to my church group. I'm not really sure. And so we have something coming up with uh, coming up with that on Wednesday and Thursdays. I told you I'm still knitting. And so that's when I have my knitting classes and then work, just work and work and work. And um, and that where I have been, that's what I've been doing. And um, some other things in addition to that. But those are the that's the base stuff i am um still taking care of my skin my skin is coming around y'all my little nose is so shiny right now i don't know what that's about uh but it is shiny like a penny anyway whatever um and let me see skin oh i am little i've lost about 20 20 something pounds yep slowly but surely coming off and I'm fine with that. Um, it is to the point now where getting ready for work, church, is an ordeal because a lot of stuff does not fit properly. And I will be shopping in my closet still. I don't have a whole lot of sizes in there, but I still have like one more size I can go down to in there. And um, I'm just not really ready to go out and run out and buy clothes. Um, no. And um, some of the stuff that I have, I would really prefer to have it altered if possible. And that's where I'm at. I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing. Um, and um, I'll keep, I'll start after this month, I'm going to get back into my groove of uploading regularly. Because I got to get caught up on my intentions, number one. And um, get, you know, get back in the, get back with that. And... Just keep y'all posting so I won't have to get on here and do these long. Well, it's not really longer than it usually is, but y'all know. But anyway, that is all. That is what I've been doing. 
that's where I have been that's how I am doing and I will keep y'all posted and keep y'all updated and that's that y'all have a good day get you some rest